Hello, hi, it's Liz here and today I thought I would use up some old um, Project Life cards. I still have a box full of them. There's some very early videos if you want to have a wee nosy um, on how I used some before. So I'm back onto them and today I thought I would just collage them up um, using this uh, pa these pages from a vintage book. Um, so they can either be uh, journaling cards, they're double sided, or uh, pockets if you were to put them this way, or tags if you wanted to add a little bit of twine or something. So, But today we're just going to leave them like that and, um, and decorate them up. So I got these pages, this wasn't a book, it was from a second, not a second hand, a charity shop, like a thrift shop. Um, and it was just loose pages like this all bundled together. So I think it's maybe five or six children's books. Just they were falling apart and the lady in the shop said they just took them apart and bundled them up and they were sure somebody would want them and I just grabbed them. So I'm going to use some of these um, images. Some of the uh, illustrations are too big for the tags and they'll end up just in a journal, I think. But... Um, yeah, so it's 1961, London and Glasgow, just by coincidence. Um, but I've picked out some of the pages and I have fussy cut some of the cute little images. <laughs> I think it's um, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> So we've got three Topsies and two Tims. Tim, unfortunately, he's got a little tuft of hair at the back there, but I gave him a haircut. And there it's there. Look, there's his tuft of hair. <sighs> and the moral of the story is to be just super careful when you're fussy cutting. <laughs> so let's just take the top one. Um, I don't know how many I've got here. I've got quite a few. Well, maybe I don't want the top one. Maybe I want one that's a wee bit more patterned. I think, in fact, I think we'll have that one first of all with the roses with the little flowers on it. I don't know if they're roses. Yeah, let's do this one first. And let's choose one of these. Let's do this one. So this is going to be my focal point. So I'm just going to start collaging up. I've got a little bundle of goodies here. I've got some tickets. I've got some postage stamp style stickers. Let's just make a nice array of things around the desk. I've got these washy um, floral leafy stickers. Quite a bundle of them out. And I've got some nice paper doilies. And I have some old, well they're actually, they're not old, they're four. Four, what looks like receipts and things. They came in a packet from Amazon. So yeah, I use these quite a lot, quite handy to have. Right, so maybe want to start with one of these and we'll just tear it down I think we'll use the ruler yeah oh no I think we'll just tear it in a in a jaunty fashion way down there And I think we will use some of this napkin, a napkin, a doily. So I want to maybe use a quarter of it in the corners. So I think we'll just 
trim a quarter out. In fact, we'll trim it all the way over. And that means we get two quarters, of course. Maybe put one bit there, maybe put If I've got anything overlapping at the end, I'll just quickly trim round and get all the bits that are hanging over the end at the end. <laughs> right, happy with that. Let's add. Now she's got a little bundle of yellow flowers. There's a little yellow. Is there a bigger one? Yeah. Let's see what else have we got. One of these. One of these, I think, somewhere. A ticket. Let's see what kind of ticket can we use. Here's a yellowy type one here. Seeing as how we seem to be going down a, a yellow theme. Happy with that so far. Um, I've also got some butterflies to cut out, but I've got lace butterflies as well. But I'm not sure about them. And I don't know if a butterfly is just going to be too much on this one. I think I've also brought my stamp set, my new stamp set, um, and I think I might have, I think I might stamp something up here, but do I want to stamp on a label? It's a little bit big. Can cut it down. Maybe. Let's see what can we stamp on it. I don't want to call her condemned. <laughs> Not sure if these are the right sort of things. Maybe just a number. Let's give it a go. These are eccentric CMS four four eight Stampers Anonymous. 
Right, let's see. They were just the numbers. We'll just cut it down. Or I could just stamp a little thing just in that white corner there. And then put some washi along the top. I think that's what we'll do. Let's just find something small for there. I'm holding this to the side and you probably can't see it. <laughs> I think we'll do that. Right, I need a block. And we don't need that label anymore. That's just my Versafine Onyx Black. Wonder if we should stamp after we've cut, after we've stuck it down, when I'll get it all smudged. No, I'll be fine. Let's go for it. Oh, I was like, oh, where did it go? Yeah. Just need to be careful we don't smudge that because that napkin, eh, napkin, doily is a little bit shiny. And I can see that that ink is still quite wet. Right, let's put that over there and let's start sticking. So what was going to be first? This. And then we'll put a little bit of washi, I think. Just move everything down. And let's get this on here. There we are. Then this was next. I'm just going to use my glue stick. And it was down about there, I think. And then this. Good, good. And then I think it was... The sticker. And I think we'll add a little bit of washi on some of the edges. Let's do the washi first in case I've got her standing on it. Is this dried? I think it has. Let's just use the back of this. Right, 
trim off the bits that are overhanging. some washi. I think I want something dark so that it gives it a little bit of oomph I think to compensate for this being black up here. That's a little bit pale, this black maybe. This one. Give this one a go. Yes, that adds a little bit. Yes, happy with that. Ready for our little focal point to go on. Wonder who she's giving the flowers to. <laughs> with that. That's quite cool. Right. So, going to stitch round the edge on with the machine and um, yeah, that'll give it a finishing touch. But we'll do, let's do another one and then we'll go and stitch them both. We'll do a little boy one this time. know if I'll have time to do all them. I was a wee bit ambitious. Where are my cards? Where did I put the journaling cards? Here they are. <laughs> How can you lose something that you just had two seconds ago? I think we'll use this one because he's they're you know, all a wee bit flowery. Although that brown one's quite nice. I think we'll use this one. Right. So same sort of procedure. Let's see. Let's do it kind of the opposite way around this time and put that up there now. I 
this one's much bigger than the last one that's looking nice and bold. That's a little bit better, I think. I think maybe she should have been put on a smaller tag. Because she's a wee bit lost in that. This is a bigger one. <laughs> anyway. Right, a nice leaf for this one. Maybe there. And let's see. This one's a big ticket for this one. to the stamping maybe over here but I'm going to stick down first this time definitely I'll walk about one of these here's an old-fashioned camera Oh, I'm in a guddle now. It's all going so well till I added the camera. I'm not sure about that. How, how long can you play around with something? It would seem like a long time. <laughs> That's how long you can play around. No, I'm happy with just that this time. Definitely. And we'll do some stamping and add some washi. Right. So, that there. Oh, it was about there. And then this was at the bottom. I think this was down first. Oh, I like this one better. I think this one is too muddled. It's got too many tiny bits. I prefer things to be a little bit bold. I think she's too small and then all the other little bits are, are just not big enough and bold enough. I think maybe once it's had its stitching round. But when I look at this and I look at that one, yeah, yeah, it's the same. This one's definitely better. What do you think? Let's see about the washi first. Oh, 
on some nice big bold bit of wash area. Oh, and I was going to stamp something up there, wasn't I? Well, let's see, folk, we can restamp. Let's just take that little round one off. There's quite a lot of little ones that would fit in there. Number 5726 original. Let's see about that. like that. I like this one. This one is much better than the first one. I hope you stuck with me <laughs> on the video <laughs> and didn't give up after the first one thinking, oh my goodness, no, she's not doing a good job there. Yes, much better, don't you think? Right, I think I'm going to do one more so that I've got two good ones and a not so good one. <laughs> Let's see what one's bigger so that we can... I think we'll just do this one sitting down and then we'll take them to the machine and give them a little stitch round. We'll do, we'll do this one. I think so. Right. Hmm. I'm not sure I'm being put off the doily because I didn't because I don't like that first one and I'm thinking I don't want a doily on it because I didn't like the first. I don't know how she's sitting, whether she's sitting. I think she's not sitting, she's just crouched. I don't know. If I put her like that, then her feet are at a funny angle. So I really think it should go like that. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's find a nice flower. That's good because that's sort of like the colour. I 
Yeah. That fits. That fits well. Okay. Let's think about a ticket. I think, I think I'm okay with that. Yes. They're quite cute little uh, illustrations, aren't they? Quite cute. And it's really good that this... Um, shop that I found in Glasgow, it's in the city centre and it's a charity shop, a thrift shop, but it's only books. They don't sell any clothes or anything like that um, or bric-a-brac or anything. It's just purely a, um, old, well, books, second-hand books. It's books, charity books that people have handed in that they're reselling. And what they do is they make up the woman there somehow knows about how people use book pages and she makes up bundles and puts them in a basket but the other week when I was in she said that she would go down the stairs and get let me see the books that they keep that aren't good enough to put out on the shelves and the books that she's going to be using to make up the bundles um, and she could just sell me them as whole books, but they, they're falling apart. So I got, I got quite a bundle of old books that, true enough, are falling apart. So I have prepared a plan for one of them. I'm part way through having a play with one, and I'm going to try and. Do a bit of a grungy cover on it. Yes, I'm quite happy with that one. I'm happy with this one and this one. Yep. Now a little bit of stamping maybe up here. We can, we've got a slightly bigger space on this one to stamp. So we'll maybe do some stamping up here. Oh, another little bit of washi. So she said, any time I go in, I've just to say to the person, to the volunteer behind the counter, that they have to go down the stairs and check on the bundle that aren't good enough for the shelves. She's, she keeps them in the corner down in their basement. And I have to tell the person, go down and check the basement for the books that are going to be torn apart and bring them up and let me see them before she takes them apart. So that's cool. So, yeah. I says, well, thanks very much. Right. Over here, let's see what we can have. Baggage check room. Hmm. Factory number one eight nine six. Let's go for that. If I can get it out. Yes. <laughs> I haven't used many of them yet, if you can tell. Good. 
Yes, I like that one. And I like this one. And I'm not so keen on this one. Although, I think it's maybe grown on me. I think it's this. I'm not keen. Anyway, I'm going to go and give them a little stitch round and then we'll see what they look like. Okay, I'm back. That wasn't entirely successful. I had to open a new uh, bobbin of black thread and for some reason I've obviously bought the wrong black thread. It's really, really thick black thread. It's like, I don't know, double thickness of all the other threads I've got. It says cotton, so I don't know if that... Maybe I should have bought like polyester or whatever. So I'm going to have to get some new black thread because I'm not really keen on this thick stuff at all. Um, I did one round this this one and one stitch. See how thick it is round that one, and I'm happy with them. This one, which I'm pleased it happened on this one because this is the one I wasn't keen on. I went all a bit wobbly up here and so then I decided to try and fix it and go round. think, well, if I'm going to be wobbly, I might as well be wobbly twice. Um, I kind of went off the page there. <laughs> and oh well, it's just as well it's for a junk journal because it's really... <laughs> so... And because it's so thick, it just was so noticeable, the black thread. But anyway, I've got two that I'm quite pleased with. And I think actually these are a more a matching pair. They're more matching than this one. This little sole here is not doing it for me. But anyway, I've got these two and I'm quite happy with them. So <laughs> if you're still with me, I'll just sit them like that and maybe that one will just peek through a little bit in the photograph. <laughs> if you're still with me, thanks very much for watching and if you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be great. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.